Browning, Pa? Oh, I don't know. Ten thousand dollars for one bull. Sure, a lot of money. Uh, Don Xavier, you know, he's a sharp trader. Now, if you have to go to twelve thousand, you go ahead. And uh, you two got any ideas about uh, taking a siesta in sunny California? Just forget it. You get back here as soon as you can. Well, don't you worry, Adam. I'll take care of horse. I won't let him get involved with any of those dark-eyed senoritas. But you worry not about old horse. I can take care of them senoritas. Well, you make sure you look after that bull. I don't want anything to happen to him. From Mateo Segundo Yamas in Canada, that's the best seed bull west of the Mississippi. Yeah, that sure is a lot of bull, all right, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> $15,000. That's a pretty big boy to be carrying all that money. Don't matter to me. They go small, they all fall dead the same way. <laughs> Spanish gal in Virginia City caused all the excitement? Yep. Now, that was just one gal. Now we're going where they grow. Now, little Joe, you listen here. If I catch you any time... They don't shoot. We're friends. Keep your gun on. Why? My partner's horse threw him. I think he's got his ribs stove in. Give me a hand with him, will you? Rib? Yeah, it feels like it. Hey, that uh, coffee looks mighty good. Go ahead, help yourself. Yeah, let me let me look at it. Use that gun, I'll kill your brother. Uh, now let's have that fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand? Are you kidding? Think I'd be eating beans if I had fifteen thousand dollars? Get it. Look, I... Well, Joe, when two fellers want it as bad as these two do, I, I reckon the only thing me and you can do is give it to them. Yeah, but horse... Little Joe, give it to them. All right. This one's dead. Yeah. So is this one. I didn't mean to hit him that hard. Well, no, they don't deserve it, but let's bury him. No? 
Now there is the vision of a man, Tia Teresa. Such insupportable wickedness. One's marriage bans are posted. May the saints defend us. Soriana, use oil of roses in my bath and be generous. Si, niña. I'll wear the white lace and the manton de manila. Ay, Dios mío, she should have been married a year ago. There will be trouble. Senor Cartwright? Senor Joseph Cartwright? Si, senor. You must be Don Xavier Lazaro. That's right. It's my brother, Hoss. How are you, sir? Hoss? Well, I got another name, Eric. But nobody ever calls me that except for Paul sometimes when, when he's kind of sore at me. You just call me Hoss. Hoss? Hoss? Hoss, El Caballo. Caballo? Ah, <laughs> si, si, si. Mucho gusto, senor Caballo. <laughs> Pasamante, senor. Hey, my name ain't senor Caballo. <laughs> Come on. Ah, uh, Eduardo. Come in, you're welcome. This is Senor Joseph Cartwright and his brother, Senor Cabaya Cartwright. This is Senor Eduardo Vasconcelos in Montalban, my neighbor and soon to be my son in law. Caballo? Oh, not exactly. My real name is Hoss. Tengo gusto, servidor de ustedes. Yeah, likewise. How do you do? You do not speak Spanish, senors? Well, not nearly as well as you speak English, I'm sure. Here's to the acquisition of the finest seed bull in the Western world. Prometheus El Segundo, Yama and Canardo. Ain't that pretty much of a mouthful? Oh, the vaqueros call him El Rojo Grande. Uh, Big Red. Yeah, Big Red, uh, that's much better. We call him Big Red. <laughs> you surprise me, Don Xavier. You are selling Prometeo? No, oh, I still have two of his young sons. And what have the Yankees done to deserve the best Hereford bull in all California? Oh, we don't want to take all the credit. I think that uh, our $10,000 had a lot to do with it. $10,000? <laughs> you are much too easy, Don Xavier. Eduardo, we agreed on a price this morning. The matter is consummated. That is American thievery. He is worth at least 20. Please, Eduardo, these gentlemen are guests. Oh, a thousand pardons, Don Xavier. Forgive me if I have offended by being too loyal. I only wish these gentlemen had me to deal with. Yeah, well, if you ever happen to have anything I might want, senor, I'd be happy to deal with you. Cayetana? Tia Teresa? Dona Maria Teresa, Cayetana. With your permission, may I present Senor Caballa Cartwright? Senor? And his brother, Joseph Cartwright. Senores? I have great pleasure to meet you, senor. I have greater pleasure, ma'am. Let me give you some wine. Go. Senor Cartwright, it was my impression that Americans excelled in all things. How is it that you must come to Monterey for a bull? Well, they got Hereford's back east. Henry Clay imported him to Kentucky way back in 17. Besides, our Paul wanted big rip. He's got the best bloodline. I'm aware of this, senores. I think Eduardo hoped to buy Premeteo for himself. Eduardo, you should have spoken sooner. Prometeo does not belong to me anymore. Shall we go to dinner? Anda, dile que no cante, que mi corazón lastima. Que pajarito es aquel. Que cantaba en aquella higuera Y anda, dile que no cante Que espera que yo me muera Epifanio, what is the matter? They sold El Rojo Grande Don F. Sears sell El Rojo Grande How many times I told you not to say a big lie to your papacito? It is true. I heard them say so. I was at the window of the hacienda. Don Javier, Don Javier, he can never do such a thing like that. To whom did he sell it to? Two men, Americanos from the high country. The poor bull, the poor torito, he will freeze to death in such a country like that. You know how our son feels about a rojo grande. Valiente, do something to help him, por favor. I will do something. I will pray. I will pray to Sam Jude the Obscure. He is the patron of the impossible things. Papa, can't you pray to a saint better known? 
Like St. Francis, the one who loves all animals? St. Francis, I will pray for him also. Being wild, let's yeah. sing, let's be happy, let's be happy. Qué bonito pajarillo Que cantaba en aquella lima Anda, dile que no cante, que mi corazón lastima You will not go to the cold country in the hills, or you will starve. What a wickedness to send you to such a place, and no one to brush you and scratch the places where flies bite. Those Anglos will want to eat you. Don't look like that. They won't eat you. They won't even take you away. My father, he is praying. Do you think the good saints will let them do this wickedness? My father, he is praying to St. Jude and St. Francis, and my mother, is also praying. Me too, I am praying. But maybe the good saints aren't listening so good today. I won't let them take you. Honest, I won't. And now, gentlemen, you will see the great prize pull that you have come so far to obtain. El Rojo Grande. What about Zizzy? What I do not understand. Only this morning I brought him from the Shaw Meadows. Perhaps he has been stolen. Stolen? Oh, but that is ridiculous. Huh. I have it. Find the son of Valiente Lopez and you will find the bull. Floriana, have the carols bring horses to the hacienda. Si, senor. Come with me. <laughs> Valiente. Si, senor. Where is your son? Uh, my son, Epifanio. Si. I, I don't know, senor. Well, ask your wife. Uh, ask my wife. Uh, dice los señores, los señores americanos y el patrón, que don't tell el chamaco, que lo andan buscando, porque creen que se llevó el toro. Pronto, conteste, no te pongas nerviosa. Yo no sé para dónde se habrá ido. Estaba aquí a su momento con el toro. Uh, she, she don't know. But well, where is the bull? You looking for the bull or Epifanio, senor? Well, Big Red's all we want to find right now. Do you know where he is? At the bull, I don't know, senor. No sé. Ask your wife. My wife. Ándale, pronto, contesta, mujer. Dicen que anda buscando... Pronto, que contesta, porque no, no, no hayan que hacer con el... Si no hayan el toro, mujer, pronto. El toro, el toro, no sé a dónde se fue. Estaba aquí. Lo acabo de ver, pero ahora no sé, no sé, valiente. She still don't know, señores. Well, Joe, if we don't get that bull, Paul's going to be mighty disappointed. Yeah, where we start looking? Uh, wait a minute, senores. Wait a minute. I, I think I can help you. Because where the, where the bull is, the boy is. And where the boy is, the bull is. Uh, you know, that's how it is. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. The bull's with the boy, and the boy's with the bull. Eso, eso. That's what he said. The horses are ready, Don Xavier. Good. Valiente, you will ride with us. Si, senor. Vámonos. You have much cattle rustling around here, senor? Very little. There are few Americans in this part of California. Oh, you have a very funny sense of humor. I know. Incidentally, I notice that you appreciate more than just cattle, senor. I'm meaning what? Meaning that I am betrothed to senorita Cayetana. Or do you not know the meaning of this word? I know the meaning of many words, senor, including good manners. No, Joe. Look, forget it, horse. He's been riding me ever since I got here. As far as your girlfriend is concerned, you can forget it. I came here to get a bull. You will stay close to your father at all times, Cayetana. Of course, Tia Teresa. The Monte is hardly a fitting place for a young lady at night. It is a rancho of my father, Eduardo. I know every tree and rock. But there are bears and mountain lions about at night. And coyotes. But they are notorious cowards. Yeah, no. May I? Of course. He is your son, Valiente. Where would you say the boy has taken the bull, huh? No man can go into the mine of another patron. Not even that of his own child. Perhaps he has taken it to the old sheep herder's baraka. Sheep herder's what? The old sheep herder's house. It is so close by. 
Well, the boy couldn't have taken the bull very far. Anyway, we will separate. Cayetana, you will ride with me. But, Papa... Muchacha, vamos. Have no fear. El also will not approach the fire. Well, Joe, you reckon that young and might have took that bull off down there to that sheep herder's whatever she called it? Oh, you mean the shack? Yeah. No, I don't think so, Hoss. Well, maybe we ought to check it out anyhow. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, it's no, no use uh, wasting our time both looking. Why don't we split up? You, uh, you top out that rim rock up there and I'll head on down the shack, see if there's anything there. I'll meet you back here. Good. <laughs> See, Rojo Grande, El Oso has gone away. There is nothing to fear. Rojo Grande, my dear Rojo Grande, I love you. I won't let the Americanos take you away. I will keep the fire bright. No bears or bad things from the dark will come to harm you. Please, St. Francis, please don't let the rain come to put our fire out. You must keep the bear away. of a rain, but it sure came up fast. The storms are always sudden here, and very strong. Yeah, I know. How'd you manage to get away from your father? Oh, it was simple. He went one way and I went the other. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Are you not pleased that I did so? I sure I am. You are a gentleman. Are you not? Well, I think so. And I can trust you. Can I not? Oh, sure, sure you can. Then why don't you kiss me? Why don't I ki kiss you? Are you afraid of Eduardo? Eduardo? No. <laughs> Are you afraid of my father? Father? No. Look, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not afraid of anybody. You know, uh, why, don't, why don't you go over and sit over there? Then, then you won't have to be afraid of me. And uh, I, I won't have, have to be afraid of me. I think it is disgusting. You are just like a Spaniard. You think all women are without virtue. Well, I didn't say anything like that. I... Oh, but you thought it. Always we are kept behind bars or, or watched by some old eagle of a duena until we marry. And then our wicked, jealous husbands watch us and spy on us until we are old and fat and dead. Yeah, well, I still didn't say anything I about you. I have been you... told that the Americanos treat their women with respect and trust. Well, we, we do, but we, then we just... Then kiss me one time and prove it. Well, we, uh... Yeah. And prove it. Prove it. How can you stand there drinking coffee? At this very moment, our poor little angel may be lost or, or devoured by a bear. Ha! Huh. Cayetana knows every meter of this Rancho Donna Maria. And if she should encounter a bear, I feel sorry for the bear. Perhaps the Yankees are with her. They have not returned as yet. No, neither of them has returned. She mentioned an abandoned sheep herder's hut. Do you suppose that... Let us go and find out. I do not trust these Yankees. See. Si. I...
Hungry and was trying to find him something to eat, that's all. I think it would make a small difference to promote Dale if he is to be eaten by El Oso or you. Eat him? Oh, you poor little splitter, you. You think we was going to butcher your bull? You are not. Why, you want to bet your boots we ain't. We paid a bunch of money for that bull, son. We're going to take him back up to Ponderosa and put him out with... Let him... Let him marry a bunch of cows. He will like that. Then he'll have many strong sons and daughters with the red coat and white face. Yeah. I reckon you will. Would they put me in jail for stealing your bull? No, sir. They ain't nobody gonna put you in jail. Then I am your servant for all time. I go with you and El Rojo Grande to the high country, even if I freeze to death also. <laughs> We'll see. I think I will not marry with Eduardo after all. Even if he is rich. Well, why not? You wanted to marry him a little while ago. I have always wanted to marry an Americano. Oh, well, uh, look, uh, Cayetana, I, 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 I never intended to, to break up anybody's marriage, marriage plans. Sometimes. Sometimes love is stronger than intentions. Don't you love me? Oh, sure, sure I love you. I, 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 I love you like a sister. A sister? You would kiss a sister the way you kiss me? Yeah, well, a, a cl cl oh, sister. What a monster! What a liar! You, you. No, you. Well, I, 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 I didn't really mean like a sister. What, what, what I meant was that I, I have a. I forgive you. I forgive you, my darling. It is Eduardo and my father. They will make you marry with me. Oh, no. You have compromised me. I did what? You have compromised me. What the heck I did? Father, thank heavens you are safe. I was so worried about you out in that dreadful storm. And why did you slip away from me in the dark? Why did I slip away? Why you... Where is Senor Cartwright? How should I know? Come, we will return to the hacienda. You're sure Senor Cartwright has not been with you? What right have you to accuse me? I am your husband to be. I am not so sure about that. We will discuss that later. But one thing I am sure of if Senor Cartwright has been with you, I will kill him. How come he can't ride in just an ordinary wagon? Because, senor, he is not an ordinary bull. This animal has traveled 12,000 miles around the horn, and he must continue to travel in comfort. Yeah, but $500 worth of comfort just for a bull. Ah, soft as a bride's bed. 
Sounds like highway robber to me. Oh, this for a bull. Now, this is just not a bull. This bull's name is Prometeo well, Asagogo. I have heard all that, but to me, he's still just plain old Roll Grundy. Oh. Now, point is... Yeah, that... Horse, you know, that there's a lot of things more important than a bull. You know what I mean? So why don't you just give him the money and let's get out of here. Well, there you are, senor. It's a lot of money. You better count it. Uh -huh. That isn't necessary, senor. Floriana, take us into the house, please. Si, patron. Come on, Ray, let's go. <laughs> Have mercy, senores. You can see he does not want to go. Yeah, I can see that. It's like some folks, Red. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Oh, please. Not like that. I will show you. Forgive me, Rojo Grande. Forgive me. But when you got to go, you got to go. Adios, Senor Lazaro. Adios, adios. Thanks a lot. What was that? It is all right, senor. It is only my mama and papa. Your mo and pa? Si, senor. One of the burro had baby, and they could not travel more faster than the baby burro can walk. Sorry to be late, senores. But it was the baby burrito. But tomorrow, we store an hour before you. Uh, good. But where are you going? Where are we going, senores? I don't know. Uh, don't you? Yeah, uh, hold on just a minute. We done took on one youngin, a fancy wagon, a team of horses that we wasn't counting on. And if you think we're going to take... Senor, a person's mother and father always go where they go. You would make me an orphan, and my mother and father childless. Oh, no, senor. You are too kind hard for that. Well, this kid's got you all figured out. Besides, we can always use a little help. And I am, I am a very strong arm. Yeah, well, we don't need no strong arms. Oh, senor, mi hombre es un buen trabajador. Besides, my wife, she cooks. Yeah, well, I don't care what she is. You say she's a good cook? Ah, for the angels. Muy sabroso. Cook sings like what? Ah, arroz con pollo, tamalitos, enchiladas, tacos, burritos, guacamole, chile, mucha machicueca. Qué barbaridad. No más dígame. Hey, horse, horse, you're putting on ten pounds listening to him. You just hush up, little Joe. I ain't about to separate these folks from that poor little old boy. Oh, no, no. Or you from that cooking. You can stay. Te lo dije que era un muchacho muy bien, hombre. Muy bueno, muy bueno. Ándale, prepara pronto la comida para que le den de comer. You have me prepare the fire. Tonight we prepare something very special. You hear that little Joe? Something special. You won't have to put up with that rabbit stew of yours no more. What would you expect me to make out of rabbits? Roast turkey? Yeah. Caporita tin 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 esta noche va a sonar. Caporita tin 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 eso de la noche se... You're eating two suppers tonight, like Senor Caballo? Not for me, for El Toro. A bull? Enchiladas and beans? El Rojo Grande like to eat what people eat. And little people food is good for him. Epifanio, you're gonna spoil the bull. 
Then he will think he is a people. He is a people. When you are older and you can appreciate it, I will kiss you. That's nice, but I'm worried. My dad will kill me. The two Yankees will kill me. Everyone will kill me when they find out. Nobody will kill you but me if you betray me. When will Your Honor reveal herself to the North Americans? There is a time for revealing and a time for concealing. At the proper time, I will reveal. Which of the North Americans will Your Honor marry? The big one with the kind face? No, the younger one with the kind face, with the handsome face, the one they call Little Joe. He's nice too, I think. You think? I know. Just for all, are you going to that coffee? Indeed. Oh, seguramente, patron, plenty more. Well, give a cup of it to that bull. Think he'd like sugar in it? I think he will. He like everything sweet. Epifanio, he spoiled that bull. <laughs> Yeah. This I gotta see. The coffee drinking bull. <laughs> How does Jean tell which is best? Women are wiser than men, Epifanio. Oh, so you're the bull that likes people food. What a stupid thing to say. Please, senor. I could not helping it. Her honor would kill me if I told. Oh, yeah, but... Senorita, what are you doing here, anyhow? Matrimonio. Matrimony? Her honor going to marry your brother, Joselito. You and little Joe marry? You are pleased, no? Oh, yeah. I reckon I am, but... Does little Joe know about this? Oh, not yet. He will be told at the proper time. Well, when's that? When my father arrives with pistoles and rifles to protect my honor. Hey, wait a minute. This ain't no shotgun wedding. Shotguns? No. Everybody knows shotguns are for the birds. Yeah, well, maybe you better come on back to campfire with me and let your bridegroom know you're here. Oh, I will come as soon as I fix my hair. I, I, but don't tell him. I want it to be a surprise. Well, lady, I promise you he will be that. I won't totally. I won't tell him. Well, come on, Epifanio. Epifanio. It might be a good idea if you'd if you'd take the bull down to creek and water him. Si, senor. Yeah. That's pretty good, huh, Hoss? What do you think? I think me and you better have a little talk, Joe. Excuse us a minute, Valiente. Ha ha, que Hey, thanks a lot, Valiente. I'm done. What's the matter? Why didn't you tell me about your plans, Joe? My plans? What plans? Well, I mean about fixing to get married and all. Now, I can't hardly wait to be an uncle. Teaching a little feller how to rope and rein his pony and all. I'm gonna buy him his first one. A chestnut with a great big ponderosa brand right on the hip. He's gonna be real cute. What's the joke? I want to know what happened between you and that Don Xavier's daughter last night. Hey, who told you about Never that? Never mind where I learned about it. Just tell me what happened. Well, nothing happened. Look, don't bother me. I ain't going to be the only one that bothers you, little Joe. Now, what happened? I said nothing. Are you sure? Well, sure, I'm sure. I got out the window. Nobody saw me. That's all very nice. But what happened before you got out of the window? Hey, what's the matter? Have you been drinking? I just want to help you, little Joe. You're in a real fix. <laughs> what fix? Joselito. That one. Joselito. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. What are you doing here? I am eloping away with the man I love. You, my darling. No, no, no look, Ca Cayetana, I, I, I never said anything about getting married. Then why did you compromise me? I didn't. 
Look, all I was trying to do was get out of the rain. I kissed you once. Twice. Once. Twice. Once. And now three times. Uh, twice. Anyway, my father will never believe you. He is Spanish. So what? My father will kill you, but I will save your life. He will not kill the, the father of his grandchildren. Hey, what, what are you talking about? After we are married, we will have many fine, beautiful grandchildren for my father. Then he will forgive you. Hey, look. What am I going to do? Looks like you already done it, little Joe. Look, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Yeah, and from the looks of things, neither is her fault. Papa, what are you doing here? I am here to protect the honor of my family. Don Xavier, there's been a little mistake. I am certain there has. Now, now l listen, sir, I, uh, I, I didn't even know your daughter was in camp until just a few minutes ago. I, I'm just as surprised about it as you are. You are a liar and a coward. And I intend to prove this to Senorita Cayetana. Hey, hold on just a minute, pal. Hey! Hey, wait a minute, you two! Wait Remember, minute. senor? You said when we first met, if you ever wanted anything I had, you would be glad to deal with me. Now is your chance. Look, this is silly. The whole thing is a mistake. A true coward. He refuses to accept the challenge. Look, I didn't refuse anything. Little Joe, you keep quiet. You stay out of this, Hoss. You masquerading as a gentleman. What weapons do you choose? Choose your fist, Little Joe, or your guns. No, I'll, I'll take care of you on your own terms. You choose the weapons. Very well. We will fight the Cote Duelo with what appears. Pick the longest one, Little Joe. God, engage. Let's not quit now. I don't get a chance to do this very often. I should have used these in the first place. Shoot, little Joe. I knew you could whoop him all the time, anyhow. You better let him go before you lose a tree. You still haven't solved your shotgun weapon problem yet, little Joe. I was praying for you all the time. That's nice. How can you be so cold to me when you have fought for me and won? We will have a fine, big wedding. Look, Cayetana, he's the one that loves you. He's the one that wants to marry you. Then you will not marry with me? No, I do not wish to marry with you. And when I do decide to get married, I'd like to do the asking. You brute! Bully! You have nearly killed the only man I have ever loved! Oh, forgive me, my darling. I was only trying to test your love. After we are married, you will not want to do such a thing, my dear. Nor will you have the opportunity. You will be married as soon as we return home, huh? See, si, Papa.
Valiente. Hoy es el Chotocabra. ¿Dónde está nuestro hijo? Ay, San José, protégelo. What's the matter with you? Why? She have heard the Chotacabra. You know, ch Chotacabra is those uh, birds. Uh, how you call them? Whipper. Whipper. Whipper wheel? Whipper wheel, that's right. And you know those birds? They are very mala suerte. That means bad luck. That's why she is worried that Epifanio didn't return back from Creek. Don't you worry none about Epifanio. That bull ain't gonna let nothing happen to that boy. Hey, you know, he has been gone a long time once. Maybe I better have a look. What was that? That's where all he called that whipper will? Chotacabra, senor. That means in Spanish, goat sucker. Because those bad birds, they steal all the meal from the goats. Oh. I don't believe a goat would stand still for it. It is true, senor. I have seen with my own eye. The lot of goats come back from pasture, no milk. Well, I don't prove nothing. Sure it proves. Why not? Well, have you ever seen, have you ever actually seen one of them birds milking a goat? Uh, let me remember. Uh, well, no, no, I cannot truly say that I have seen. But I have not seen many things in life, and it's so short. Get your guns and come on. Ay, madre de Dios, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué pasó? The boy's gone, so the bull. No. Hey, that boy wouldn't run off that bull again, would he? The tracks lead away from the creek. They're mixed with moccasin tracks. Moccasin tracks? Calmate, mujer, calmate. Okay. You can see he does not want to go. When he wants to go, he'll go. Our people are hungry. Why we not kill him here? It shall be done. No! You would rather die in place of bull? Yes, yes, kill me. But don't kill a Rojo Grande. Please, kill me. You sure that is what you want? Yes, you promised not to kill El Toro. So be it. You're very brave for one so young. Why? From my father. His name means brave. Valiente. What is your name? Epifanio. Why? I was born on the twelfth night, the night that the wise man saw the star in the sky. Then he knew the Lord Jesus was born. The one they nailed to a tree? On the cross. I have heard the story. You have the heart of a true warrior, little one. Our blood brothers. All right, hold it. All right, what's going on here? Me Epifanio, you, you're bleeding. Me and Chief, blood brothers. Are these your people? Yes. Take your bull. Go in peace and always be brave. Buena noche. Take El Rojo back. Qué bonito pajarillo. El alará. Y anda, dile que no cante, que mi corazón lastima. So you go with the bull, eh? Sí, patrón. I take care of him. Good. Well, you boys got a little more than you bargained for, didn't you? Padded wagon, too. What did you uh, have to pay for that? 
Just five hundred dollars, Paul. Oh, just five hundred dollars. Well, Paul, you can't hardly expect a, a bull like Big Red there to, to go any way except first class, can you? Oh no. Then no, he's right, Pa. I mean, you know, I, I I think it's a cheap price considering. Considering what? <laughs> Y anda, dile que no cante, que mi corazón lastima. Qué bonito pajarito que cantaba en aquella higuera. Y anda, dile que no cante, que espera que yo me muera. Buenos días, señor. I am your Orbirian Serviente. Who are these people? Tell them who they are, little Joe. Who you tell? Well, one of you tell me. They are my mom and papa. We, we, we could separate the boy from his mama and papa. And Paul, his mama's the best dang cook you ever seen. Well, we... We certainly have enough room for them. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Ay, Chihuahua, te lo dije que era muy buen patrón. Ande, llévate la guitarra pronto. Y tú a trabajar, a trabajar, ande pronto. Te lo dije que era muy buen patrón. Well, Adam, you thought these boys would have a lot of trouble bringing that bull up here, eh? <laughs> I guess I was wrong, Pa. Uh, you sure you didn't have any trouble? Not a bit. Well, a little bit. Like uh, when, when Big Red almost got cut up into stakes by those Indians. Indians? Yeah, but that never would have happened except little Joe was busy fighting a duel. Duel? Yeah, well, otherwise I'd have had to get married. Married? Yeah, well, that, that was right after Horse fought the bear. Oh, bear. that wasn't nothing. Uh, you ought to seen the way little Joe gunned down them two bushwhackers that tried to steal our $15,000. But, no, now, just a minute, who are you trying to kid? It's certainly a lot of bull. <sighs> yes, sir, it sure is. <clears throat> 